Welcome to the first ever episode of the PantherCast, brought to you by Vixif Insta. On this podcast, we cover everything related to the Panther platform, from the latest trends and the coolest builds, to interviews with your favorite Panther enthusiasts. So buckle up, because if you like Crown Vix, Grand Marquis, Marauders, or Town Cars, this is the place to be. I'm here with my co-host James, who will be joining me for every episode. And for this inaugural episode of the Panther Cast, we're joined by Manny Franco, who's the man behind Mad Vic, Mad Merc, and the largest Panther Club probably anywhere, Panther Mafia. Manny, thanks so much for taking the time to join us. Thanks so much for having me, guys. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself for any of the listeners who may not know who you are. I doubt that's the case, but... You know, we just want to cover all our bases. <laughs> well, there's always a first time for everything. Well, my name is Manny Franco. Uh, I originally started in the Panther platform back in 2007. Uh, I have only had four cars my entire life, and they have all been Panthers. Um, the first one was about 10 years before I ever got onto social media, so no one really got to know much of that vehicle. That's kind of where I learned a lot of the basics. Um, From there, I had moved on and and I decided to purchase another vehicle, uh, another 2005 Police Interceptor, all white, which became actually my ticket into the Panther game. Uh, You know, taking anything very seriously and enhancing your passion for something, and it, it requires you to challenge yourself and to stand out from those around you. So naturally... Coming into the car game, you look at all sorts of makes and models, but the very first you focus on is your own kind. Other Panthers, what are they doing? Oh, they're not doing much. Okay, cool. So now I got to do something more than that, and I got to show why, hey, this is this is worth a follow here and throughout the years of having that white car which eventually became known to be the notorious lechero i went through a, a paint job a, a, a completely different satin white pearl wrap job uh you know did all sorts of full bolt-ons and, mo- and mods to it adtr performance uh supplied all the the performance parts for it and of course tuned by mo's speed shop down in georgia that car was a beast uh, I am also uh, a Mercury Marauder owner. I have Mad Merc on Instagram as well. I also am the man who started Panther Mafia, as uh, introduced by Vix of Insta here by Sam. <laughs> so, if you want to expand on Panther Mafia, when did you found it, and like what what was the idea behind it? I, you touched on back when you got in the game, there wasn't that many Panthers doing cool stuff. So, was that part of the reason why you started Panther Mafia? Oh, absolutely. Um, in the very beginning, you got to understand, first and foremost, all respects due to uh, Crown Vic boys. They were the very first large basis uh, Panther platform movement that was going on across the East Coast primarily and in the South. Um, however, there just weren't any chapters out here. And I was looking at those guys on YouTube, you know, before Instagram was even created. And I was just in awe. I was in awe of all the colors, all the big rims, all the sound systems, the unity. I mean, it's just something different that there's no other car out there that can do what we do. I mean, point out another brand of vehicles that kept the exact same body style for 13 years consecutively as well. And they were fleet, fleet vehicles, which means... There was tons of them. I mean, this was the car of America, right? I guess what I'm trying to get at here is besides CVB, there were only guys that were in, like interested in, in, in making their vehicles resemble present-day police vehicles. And that became a very bad reputation for Panther owners. Um, coming up here in Northern California around the Bay Area, it was very common for, you know, Crown Vicks, P71s to be keyed, have their tires slashed, windows bashed, just out of pure hatred for the police. You know, um, it's a vehicle that definitely had a very bad rap here. Uh, Gang Task has not exactly the best reputation. and That's what those cars represent. At the time, believe it or not, I actually had no idea that these cars were called Panthers. They were just Crown Vicks to us, (laughs) you know? 
So nobody out there was really doing much of anything with these Crown Vicks. And when you saw a Crown Vic, you didn't think like a Panther. You didn't think, oh, Crown Vic. You you were thinking police, straight fed, D-boy. Hey, who's that guy? I don't want that guy coming around no more. He's just weird, you know. I guess what, what bothered me was, you know, I... I'm a, I'm a normal guy. I like to I like to party. I like to have fun. You know, uh, I, I, I when I look at this car, I, I, I see it as a as a Crown Vic. I don't see it as a police interceptor. I don't see it as a police car. Um, I think the reason I really started Panther Mafia, if I'm, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, mocking or imitating police. I mean, that's just. Those guys, they, they got a tough job to do, you know what I mean? I, I just don't think it's fair to them to be trying to play dress-up cop and outfit your vehicle to look like an active police vehicle. I mean, it's just bottom line weird. It's it's not something considered as a build, you know what I mean? It is super odd. So, that being said, I wanted to create a, a crew where you didn't see any of that. Matter of fact, since these guys were so so anti donuts and so anti illegal modifications, even as far as uh, smoked out tail lights or or tinted windshields, you know. Mm. I actually wanted to create a group where it was the exact opposite. We actually encourage you to do that. We encourage you to be yourself and do what you want and go ahead and hey, I mean, you know what you're getting into, you know. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've been pulled over for windshield tint. Yet here I am, still 15 years in a row. I've never owned a vehicle that hasn't had a tinted windshield. I refuse to do so. <laughs> Where the type I'm, I, I'm the type of person. If it's stock, it's gotta go. You know, I, when people ask me what all have you done to the car, I tell them I changed everything except for the frame. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's definitely a big exaggeration there. But my point in being though is that I like everything to be different than what it was because see the thing is, is not everyone's the same, right? And so when I when I go ahead and I build my vehicles, I build them up to my requirements, my likes. Um, a guy like me, I, I need a lot of torque, you know what I'm saying? I need a special kind of tire. I, this is how I do my dance, you know what I'm saying? Now, somebody else out there might not necessarily, they, they enjoy watching it, but they would never do that to their vehicle. You know, they, they're, they're worried they might damage something, break something. They're just not looking for another expense, you know what I'm saying? Some of us do this for the culture. Some of us are really just in it to be a part of something. And at the end of the day, at least in Panther Mafia, it is a really big variety of all sorts of those individuals. And I think that's what really makes that crew stand out much more so than any other ones out there that you see in the last 10 years or even today. Yeah. And touching on you had said that, you know, the the platform is kind of versatile. And I posted yesterday a manual swap Crown Vic and I said that. The Panther flat platform is the best because it can be a luxury car or a sports sedan, you know, and I think that's what makes these cars so special is they can do a variety of things. It just depends on what you want to do and how you're going to do it. I mean, I couldn't agree with you anymore in that sense, because uh, just just go ahead and, and show me. Tell me a type of vehicle that this Crown Victoria could not become with the correct modifications. Go ahead. Like, to each their own. If, if you take pride in your vehicle, that's what's going to show and that's what's going to get respected, no matter what it is. From being a lowrider, like uh, 714 Local Car Meets out of Anaheim, California, also in Panther Mafia. Or, or, you know, like I've already mentioned, some of these lifted cars. You got Off-Road Vic. You got oh, a handful of other Instagram names I can't think of right now off the top of my head. But you, you have all of CVB representing 24s, 6s, 8s, 30s. You know, some of these guys are on airbags. They got some of the craziest colors, coolest sound systems, real attention to detail. Upholstery is just A1. That's something that the Mafia hasn't really gotten into so much. We're a little bit more of a uh, of an of a interactive culture with the underground. You know, <clears throat> predominantly a, a Bay Area-based group that has also spread out to Southern California and Los Angeles, Detroit, New York, the DMV, Las Vegas, Arizona. It's basically a bunch of guys that are, are, are grabbing these cars. They're getting together. They're, they're hanging out, going to barbecues, going to car meets, going to bars together, drinking together, smoking together. I mean, really, 
life is tough for everybody these days and everybody needs a like an outside family an exterior family that you can just kind of forget your daily work life forget your home life and just really come vibe with these guys and, and chill out and we all drive the same cars we all support each other there's a real big brotherhood that gets you know pushed and elevated in this group and you know we're welcoming all sorts of panthers we want to have everything i want more lincoln town guys you know i want more guys on airbags i want more guys on these hydros you know i want more supercharged beasts you know more drift builds you know shout out guys like stick drift um four six mason guy out there on the east coast out of rhode island you guys want to check him out on instagram as well really one super cool sick drift build right there and there's one other thing I could I could just really emphasize for everyone that's listening. The power is amongst us. The more and more that we support each other and that we, we, we help promote each other and push these badass Panthers out there. Yo, one of us wins, we all win. I'm never going to off-road my vehicle, but you could damn sure bet that I'm going to be bragging about how you could. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. For sure. <laughs> So James and I know that you're you're super busy. You're probably working more than forty hours a week. How do you find the time to stay on top of all the all the pages you have? You know, you, know, you have your uh, Mad Films where you guys do video content and sell merch. Uh, you guys are always planning meetups, and you know you're always working on your car. So how how do you find all the time to do that when you're working full time? So to be honest with you, uh, there's seven days in a week and I work six days in a freezer, 12 hours a day. I work one night at a bar doing security on Saturday night. I get home Sunday morning at 4 a.m. I wake up around 12 p.m. on Sunday, sometimes a little earlier so I can get something like breakfast in. <laughs> and then I get to going on, you know, T-shirts, hoodies, you know, sticker orders for Panther Mafia bosses all across the country. Um... I am the definitely the most active on my personal account, Mad Vic. Uh, Mad Merc at the moment's been on a bit of a hiatus, but I try to at least post once a week there. Um, I have like a, a like my own like set of like rules as far as like how to keep things you know going. My goal for the Mafia page is to post once a day. It's not too difficult, you know. I kind of go off of who I see doing the most work out there, and yeah. that's how I select the the shots for the Mafia page. I like to to vary, you know, outside of the Bay Area to Los Angeles to Vegas to Detroit, you know, kind of shine the light on other guys that you know might be getting overlooked. I go to scheduled bathroom breaks to, to post at times there because I go. can't just whip out my <laughs> phone. <laughs> there we go. Um, it's 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 definitely not easy, my man. I'll tell you that. It's it's a lot of consistency. Uh, Mad Vic, Mad Vic, kind of really rose through the ranks pretty quickly and and kind of got to where it's at now to where i i feel like i don't necessarily need to post something every single day anymore um kind of focus yeah. a little bit more on quality and then a little bit of like just for consistency like hey we're still here we still ain't wrapped the fender or fixed the bumper <laughs> you know <laughs> what i right. mean I'm, I'm liking the black and uh black and white and gray we got going on here if, like if there's anything scarlet. I can say, it it yeah, it gives you character. <laughs> I mean, it's just it, it's sure. it's a battle battle torn Vic. I tell you what, I mean, the car is known to to lay down some serious rubber. And if you guys know the history of that specific vehicle, uh, then then <laughs> it's pretty amusing that it it, oh, it kind of spent most of its life dormant. <laughs> Crown Victorias have skyrocketed oh, in prices. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's and and why why what is the reason for that? I mean, I, I just I, I don't I don't think there's really too many other uh, factors here to attribute that to. I mean, these cars when I got in the game were eighty five thousand miles for twenty two hundred dollars. Oh yeah, for sure. I saw Crazy. so many. I mean, before I bought the Vic, found a town car. It was a uh, uh, right, pearl right. white, you know, really clean. Uh, One hundred seventy thousand miles, but the price was low. It was like two grand. And I mm -hmm. almost bought it, and I think the lady, I just, I was checking with her because I had cash in my pocket. I was just checking with her occasionally, like, hey, what's the deal? I'm still uh, interested in the car whenever you're ready to sell, and she was always like, yeah, you know, just dealing with some whatever. Uh, I'll let you know when I'm ready, and then I messaged her one day because it says uh, sold. And she just said, oh, I decided not to sell it, and I was so disappointed, <laughs> and mm. I still am because uh, <laughs> I ended up with a, you know, not not quite as nice car, but 
I have a lot of appreciation for it, and it would still hurt if it got totaled, but the insurance check would make me feel better, and I'd be in something clean <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, I know how that feels. <laughs> yeah, that's how it, that's how I see it. Is you know, I mean, it's it's I'm working with what I got, and I appreciate what I got. It's not the nicest, but it is what. Hey, it is. you know, actually, what you just said right there. To be honest with you. You know, I, I answered your question earlier about what made me start Panther Mafia, but one yeah. question that wasn't asked, but you just gave an answer, was what even got you into these cars, right? <laughs> exactly just what you said. Hey, I'm working with what I got, and I'm very appreciative of what I got. I tell folks this all the time, like, oh, you know, you should get a Miata or get a <laughs> Honda or go, you know, just... Get, listen, just just get a little beater car, you know, something you can go from A to B in. You know, you, you keep the Panther on the side. You you do the work to it. You know what I'm saying? Save the miles, you know. And I just told people, like, look, listen, like, I, I, I don't know about you, and I can't speak for nobody else, but I don't got it like that. I can't necessarily have the race car and the commuter car. So I just got the race car, and I'm good. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I'm super-duper happy. You know, and, and for, for people that are very new to the Panther platform tuning in, and for those of you who are, you know, Panther gurus out there, I don't want to ever make a misconception that these cars are actually fast. They are very fun. That is a, fun. There's a big difference, a very big difference. Uh, a lot of people think that my car is very, very fast, and I'll tell you what, it's definitely much faster than any stock crown vic i'll tell you that right now i mean <laughs> oh, no doubt i'll tell you that yeah. right now but in the grand scheme of these other cars that are 500 horsepower and up my car doesn't stand a chance now that's why i'm into drifting that's why i'm into you know doing donuts and sliding and you know those wonderful sideshows. <laughs> oh, the dreaded sideshows. <laughs> you know what i mean the most controversial subject in today's car world across the country how do you guys feel the community has evolved since you've been a part of it? Personally, when I started the Vix of Insta page in 2016, there were like, I mean, I had trouble finding cars on Instagram. And as the years have gone by, it's now almost six years since I've started that page. So many custom mm -hmm. builds. Um, how mm -hmm. is it, especially for you, Manny, I mean, how has it changed? And you've touched on this already, but, you know, being in a Crown Vic for over a decade. So to, to, to more accurately answer your question that I think you're targeting here is um, when you first came in, where's everybody that was already there? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, over time, it's just like the music industry. You know, people come out for one hot single and they're, oh, man, you don't follow so-and-so? Oh, yeah, they got the coolest rims on this Crown Vic. They're doing their thing out of, where are they from? Oh, they're from Cincinnati. Yeah, you know. And then after right. six months, you never hear about them again. Um, I've seen a lot come and go. I already knew uh, that I'm here for life, and that would be a big dog eventually. Uh, so when I came into the game, I was real humble. You know, some of you guys remember me having like 200 followers. And, uh, you know, I was I was on all sorts of pages. I was I was uh, doing anything and everything that I could to, to really put myself out there and, and, and try to connect with folks. Because kind of like you mentioned, Sam, uh, it was... It felt like the there was a Panther community, but it wasn't super booming necessarily. Yeah. Um, there were some big names. One of the biggest names when I was coming in was a guy from Florida, uh, by the name of Adam Penn. Uh he goes he, he had a car that went by Cruel Vic. Yep. yep. You guys may or may not remember him. Um I believe so. he was kinda one of the bigger guys in the game. There was also another guy from Florida as well, and he and this is really why I love Instagram, because Instagram really taught me the power of a picture. <laughs> this guy, I want to say he was one sick Vic, the original. Yep. Yeah, and I remember. Man. Oh, yeah. He Years was ago. at the top of the game. You met me? Yeah, I'm starting at the beginning, Sam. <laughs> Man, that was, I mean, that was probably 2016. That's what I'm telling you. These are the big names back then. <laughs> they were. And you're right. A lot of people come and go. I mean... Some people look at look at uh, one of my one of my recent uh, favorite guys and and uh, you know absolutely no disrespect to the guy I much love to him he's he's one of the very few guys that I believe managed to get over a hundred thousand likes on a on a Panther reel 
Uh, he's known for his eccentric and super dope LED color changing lights on the wheels, on the, uh, the, the underglow and the halos. Yep. Murdered Vic! You know, uh, he was uh, one of the first like single panther you know because vix of insta you know your promoter page panther mafia promoter page panther platform you know promoter page a lot of promoter pages promoter pages are very key and important because they're like the radio stations for all of us this is how we find out about each other you know what i mean oh did you make it on the big page <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> but sure. um as far as another uh single panther account i mean you got the meteor interceptor who i believe is today at the top of the food chain and uh back yeah, then twelve tank engine. Yeah, no, nothing big there. <laughs> unreal, unreal car there. But uh Murder C V P I was one of the first guys to break over ten thousand followers with a Panther page. Yeah. And uh that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. And unfortunately he got into an accident to where the insurance took the car and that was the end of that. Um I think that's also something else that we could kinda highlight and look at is, you know how many how many guys have been knocked down and like just continue coming back and have just furthermore proven that they're here to stay and they're here to rock the game you know what i mean yeah yeah there have been multiple there's a few out there who've lost their cars you know they've been essentially totaled but they rebuilt them and that's just crazy crazy yeah. commitment it's awesome to see it is people love to see the progression the consistency of a build you know and i, I think that's that's really key and, and at least in my following is that you know people have seen a story unfold over years you know yeah yeah i i would say i uh i've been interested in panthers since 2018 and it did not take me too long to realize oh this whole whacker thing is kind of dumb this is like idiotic <laughs> started off you know youtube recommended uh, Mr. Wacker reviews. We're gonna put it at that. Uh, you know, just some Vic videos. You know, and I started watching. Them. I was like, hey, you know, I kind of want to crown Vic because, uh, you know, all due respect to the guy, he does have a couple informative videos where he's uh, he's actually putting out some accurate information. You know, there is some yeah, inaccurate sure. stuff like uh, throttle body spacer that does nothing besides mm. vacuum leak, but uh. But that got me interested in Panthers. And I, you know, start seeing them on Instagram, start seeing Wacker accounts. And then I realized, oh, this is just a bunch of dudes meeting up with flashy lights. What's cool about that? All the cars look the same. You know, you got a variety of black and white. Uh, not really, nothing really cool about that. No one stands out. Every car looks the same. So... I, I don't remember when it was, but it was either late 2018 or early 2019. Uh, I started seeing uh, Vic Savinsta, Mad Vic, some other guys uh, at the time. Uh, I have a big Vic, Josh. Those were, oh, you know, the, the how few could I people. forget to have mentioned him? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, I feel like that might be a little bit crucial for you, Manny, to, to talk oh, about that. Most Just a little bit. definitely. I got carried away with the other guy I was bringing up. <laughs> oh, that's true. I was true. going to chronological order. Sam, I have a question for you. What's up? You know, being, uh, you know, when, when, when you first started out, you know, you, you were a smaller, but <clears throat> much smaller page than you are today. And, you know, over the last uh, six years, you know, you've definitely seen a lot come and go. I mean, you know, my job is, is, is but a fraction of what yours is, truly. Um, I only support Panther Mafia. <laughs> you know, if, if you ain't one of my guys across yeah. the country, I don't feel like I have to necessarily post you. Whereas... Your guys is literally anybody and everybody, doesn't matter where they're from, what they're doing, if it's clean, if it's good, if it's something you want to promote, you're going to throw it up there and put the, you know, the shine on there, just like other Panther promoters do, you know? And it's very funny that, that I Have a Big Vic was, was mentioned, and I'm looking at his license plate right now because, you know, I kept it. That was actually my competitor. I, I don't think there's any other person that I could probably call on besides you, Sam, to have actually really witnessed both accounts uh we really were were rising neck to neck and starting to become the real talk of the panther game um 
he was renowned for his immaculate photography, which today, uh, anyone listening, just... you gotta you gotta tune in to underscore clutch media. Definitely very worth your follow. Absolutely, and and keep in mind, this guy came up in a Crown Victoria, and him and I were going neck to neck, and it wasn't until. Gosh, what's that really, really big page that shouted out Mad Vic in the beginning? Um, was it a... I think it was... 1320? Yeah, I think it was 13... It was either 13... Yeah, it was 1320. It was It was 1320 first, and then it was uh, American, American Muscle. American Muscle, yeah. Yeah, yep. Yeah. The first one is what projected Mad Vic over I Have a Big Vic in the following. Uh shortly about four months later the car was totaled and uh long story short well i bought out my competition (laughs) 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 that's just the truth that's just the truth microsoft and facebook buying everything except the spantham office Uh yeah you know what i'm saying we kept it in the in the mafia i mean what was i supposed to do show up in a stock white crown vig with some rust on it just say hey guys the bounce back is real (laughs) yeah nah couldn't do it couldn't do it had to had to take out my competitor. I mean, he was selling anyways, you know. So I, it just only made sense, you know. It, it, deeper than cars, we're actually good friends, you know. We talk often, um, you know. He also had some sort of uh, attachment to the car and wanted it to at least go to someone who would make good use of it. Not necessarily sure if he agrees with all the stuff I'm doing to it nowadays, <laughs> but you know, oh, you know. <laughs> I'm making good use of it, all right. <laughs> it's it's not the same type of build that he was going for, but I think it's still it pretty isn't sweet. it isn't, but it's just like it's it's honestly uh, my whole take on that and the reason you don't see the hood is because yeah. it's it's a, it's actually a blend of his and mine together, and that's why we're still rocking the same color because I haven't completed all my you know steps. To truly make it my car right now we're we beat out the channel we beat it out my 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 former white car was inarguably the fastest dopest most fun crown vic i had ever sat behind the wheel of um that thing uh, kept up I with the camaro most ss people, <laughs> most people in the community would that would be the most iconic you know crown vic with it of the past it, it is uh, i mean i think I think the color choice had a lot to do with it, to be honest with you. No one had done a satin white pearl yet, and with the gloss black characters of the tinted windows and the side lights, headlights, wheels, it was just, I mean, not to suit my own horn, but I, I definitely take pride in making a car look good. Um, that's actually, that was my first entry to uh, cars. I didn't understand performance. I didn't understand uh, what parts do, what the functioning of it was, why you would have such a thing. All I know was that you got to have nice rims, you got to have a nice color, and every window's got to be tinted, and all the lights got to be smoked or it's not dope. That's the book I've been going by. It's been working out for me pretty well. <laughs> the Nowadays. The Franco motto. Seriously, seriously. <laughs> I've been doing that for almost 15 I'm I'm just scrolling back through my page, just looking at all the different cars that have been posted. There have been some crazy ones. Like, I don't know if you guys remember JSP Auto. He was oh, out of yes. North Carolina. He wrapped his in some type of green. I mean, it was like a pearly pie. What did green. he have before? What did he have before? JSP Auto was known for something else, a different color. Oh, originally he had the like. Uh, it was like, a color flip, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a color flip. That I mean, right, that was right. crazy. That was, that That's was what he was known for. He's a guy that was shooting the GTR Skylines, correct? Yep. I, and it, it, did it look anything like Flick My Vic? It was essentially yeah. the same thing. You know, same just, thing, right? Yeah, same thing. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, both of them beautiful cars. Beautiful cars. I'll tell you one thing about a lot of really cool builds out there. And I mean, this is just going to be the case anywhere you go, really. But... There's a certain appreciation for people that take pride in their cars and do something that's really, really cool and make it look super appealing and even have the photography to deliver that effect. Yep. However, some like JSP Auto was not a Panther guy. No. Oh, no. yeah, no, no. Just wasn't. All. Happened to have one, and it looked really good, and he had some yeah, amazing looked, pictures of it. He but, for sure did well with what he had, but it was just kind of, you know, what he had kind of thing. It's, 
I'd say it's like he a, wasn't really tied into the community. Yeah, it's like a high schooler putting a good amount of money. Like, not that I'm saying he's <laughs> equivalent to a high schooler, but uh, you know, a high schooler with a Camry investing some money, and it's not the car <laughs> he wants, yeah. but it's the car he has. So he he does some good yeah. stuff to it. No, you know, and that's that's another that thing. Um, do you guys remember uh, War Boy's uh, beautiful orange Garfield looking Vic oh, that he was that uh, sold to uh, Sam Michaela? Underrated cars ever. Absolutely, absolutely. 100%. Full full stainless work, uh, inside and out wrap. Uh, just fully built uh, stainless exhaust system from front to back. Uh, double five percent tint. I mean, the car was well built and sounded good and moved. Oh, and it had like 54,000 miles on it, which means mm-hmm. that I think Warboy oh, got it in the 30s or, or, or mid 40s. Like, I yeah. Think young. And when he sold it to someone who I would probably uh, uh, consider as a, a much larger base influencer for Panthers, which would be Sam Michaela, that's when the car got its most exposure. Unfortunately, see. I have a big Vic sold his car to me. He knew that the car would continue to live on through social media because he yeah. knows that I'm, I'm an active content creator. Sam Michaela is an active content creator. However, he sold it to some schmuck out there. That's that's the end of that, folks. I don't even know who the owner is. I, it, and it you've never sad. seen the car again. That's the it one thing is... If if you have a car with a good following and recognition, I would personally like if I did. It becomes a responsibility, James. I would I would absolutely <laughs> have to <laughs> sell it to someone else with a recognition. I think but that's I what I, th- new that's, I have a big Vic was thinking as well because one of his friends has spotted me in San Francisco in the earlier months and messaged him like, "Oh, I think I'm pretty sure I just saw your car driving down Lombard." <laughs> <laughs> I think, like you said, it, it is kind of a responsibility. I mean, you know, if you don't want to, whatever. But pe- a lot of people follow a car because they like it, and it is it is really disappointing when it moves on. Absolutely. People take that, like, it's, it's they, they take that to heart, you know. I know. I, I'm, I'm one of those people. I'll unfollow you right away. Yeah. Especially if we didn't, like, laugh a million times and DM together. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. <laughs> Like if we're friends, we're friends. I don't care. Like like for example, um, uh, murder CVPI with his new black three seventy whatever. I still follow him. I still like his photos. I still support him. He was a cool dude. We talked a lot. Oh for sure. You know? it's still a clean car. I still support. Look him. at I... War Boy. Yeah, for sure. He's in a Jeep right <laughs> Speaking now. Speaking of, he's he's just an OG Panther Mafia guy, an honorary boss for life. You know, then he's got again, a lot uh, of gear. Josh, you know, meow clutch yeah. media. Which yeah. I I'd like to touch on uh, that for a moment. He's he's an inspiration for me as well. Um, I've always wanted to shoot cars. I have a camera. Still, still learning how to use it. I have friends who uh, went to film school and stuff. You know, they're gonna teach me how to use it. You know, better. But uh, I really want to be able to do sick rolling shots and stuff. I see these really cool rolling shot videos and all that stuff of other Vicks, but it's a Wagger Vic, and it's like, man, I want to repost that, but it's got red and blues in it, and that's so dumb. <laughs> right, like it's a clean video, but the Vic they're using in the example is just not it. Well, see, that's also one of my uh, one of my goals. There is uh, hopefully going to be downsizing jobs here. I'm gonna be kicking the security job at the bar. I am not not done with Mad Films, but like not taking in new orders, and very soon doing just very minimal things for for some guys that need stickers, need you know, need a new shirt, whatever you know. I'll take care of that, but I'm really trying to just stick down to one job and to get back to getting my creative juices flowing. Um, Vix of Insta, you asked me how do I manage four profiles, work three jobs, and just stay busy nonstop and, and just week by week continue to do this. Passion was the answer that I gave you, but to tell you the truth... Mad Merck's been reposting old photos for almost six months now. <laughs> Mad yeah, Vic doesn't got weird. nothing to show you besides a recent donut video that was extracted from a story. Panther Mafia is revolving around other people's photos at the moment and other people's footage at the moment. Uh, Mad Films is going off an archive of uh, pictures of, of co- a collaborative effort of a bunch of photos of all the work that's ever been done. And the attitude that I have for every single story, uh, for, for the most part, is that 
you know, maybe maybe 40 to 50 percent of these people have already seen this. But you got to understand for 60 percent or even more, this is their first time. So don't be afraid to repost some things. You know what I mean? Uh, there's some things that were posted back then that didn't get as much exposure because of the time that it was posted or the following base at the time. Now we're triple that. Now is maybe it's time to repost that and it can get more new light. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I've been doing. And I think uh, if you've been following me over four years, you can definitely see a change in stories, a change in, in uh, the way I conduct myself, a change in even content that comes um, working all the time and only getting older and just really, you know, shaving off an hour of sleep to get everything done. Uh, it's very hard to get my creative juices flowing. When and where am I supposed to go take a photo shoot? My schedule doesn't allow me to. Right. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> you know what I mean? How am I going to uh, go? I want to shoot a video. I want to get three Panthers on the uh, on the freeway. We're going to go in the morning. I'm going to hang out somebody else's car with a stabilizer in the camera. And we're going to get some sweet rolling shots. You know, show the Panther parade going down. You know, I might even film a sideshow. Who knows? When am I going to do that? Furthermore, once I do do that, when am I going to edit that? But yeah, it's um, for me. I do have like a couple things in like my archives. I have a couple uh, pictures I've never posted. But it's just, I mean, I <laughs> I have much more time than you do. To be fair, you do quite a lot more than me. Even though I just, you know, I got one job. But uh, it's just, I don't know. I I don't have as much energy at the moment. But. Uh, the end goal is definitely motivation. Like, you know, I'm going to have a Marauder. Like I said, it's going to take some time, but I'm going to have one. And when I do, I'm not, it's not going to just be, oh, look, another, uh, it'll be shiny. But, oh, no, not another uh, uh, shiny Marauder with stock wheels and stock fitment and everything. I do want it to be lowered on some, uh, like, Scary 03 is a good example. Jay Fortner. Jay Fortner has some really nice, uh, projectors in his uh, heaviest hitting marauders in the game right there heaviest Absolutely. hitters I, I mean yeah scary the mafia I mean, baby he's, he's getting like over a thousand likes on all of his photos that which I mean, is that's easily he's he's almost gone beyond the panther platform at this point he's just he's within the community of cars on instagram now it's crazy yeah i i would, I would definitely agree with that Shout out Scary 03 and everybody out there in the DMV Panther Mafia. Whoop whoop. But uh, hopefully that's the goal now is to be able to, to to have more time with the camera, have more time to to create new content, new flavor, new backgrounds, new backdrop, new music, new style. The the thing is 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 you you gotta constantly be elevating your game. It's okay to take some time and fall back and use old footage to to buy yourself time. That's only going to help for so long. People are going to start getting antsy, you know, and, and that's where it becomes a responsibility. And that's where I had to make some changes in my life to be able to continue in, in that sense. And I'm going to. I'm doing it. 2022. There's, there's some things happening this year. So definitely stay tuned on all of my Instagrams. And I'm pretty excited to see it because I know, you know, when you say you're going to do something, you do it. I mean, <laughs> I try and do a what a I track say record do, to prove it. <laughs> you, you know, you know, you know what I do it for, James? What's I that? do it for moments when I hear somebody like yourself say, I know that when you say you're going to do it, you're going to do it. The How good that felt right there is enough for me to go ahead and tell people that I'm going to do something and really truly commit to it. Because at the end of the day, no one's going to forget that you said you were going to do something and you did it. There's, there's a lot of guys that bounce back and they rebuild their cars or maybe they can't rebuild the car. So they get another one and they bounce back into it like Posse Vic. Uh, oh, for sure. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of that's kind of the mafia spirit, to be honest with you. I mean, we're, we're, we're all sitting and promoting, you know, 15 year old cars. <laughs> yep. You know what yep. I mean? It's, it's, it's becoming only more and more limited. You know, you're not seeing these every single day, every single street anymore. You know, um, the survival of the fittest, really. It really is. I mean, is. I don't care if uh, 50 years down the line, you know, they've just banned, they've outright banned gas cars. Going to have Tesla swap Vicks. I don't care. <laughs> and, hey, trust like, me, we'll figure it out. Dedicated to the platform. We're going to have these insane 
I mean, Teslas move. We know that. Teslas move. We're going to have these insane, you know, over 1,000 horsepower VIX now just because, uh, well, it's got to be electric. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But, you know, just in case. <laughs> just gonna, in case. We're, we're, we're all sure going to be the best of the best. <laughs> we're going to be a bunch of menaces and, uh, and uh, you know, hood cars with Tesla swaps. And you'll never hear us coming. That's the best part. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> I just yes, want to sir. say, like, to anybody who's, you know, listening, it's people who are following, you know, Manny, but they don't do anything, you know, with their, if they have a Crown Vic, if they have a Panther, they don't do anything with it. If you want to, I mean, get out and take photos, you know, you can use your phone, you can get really good photos with your phone, start posting, make an Instagram for your own car. Yeah, just, just interact get it out with there everybody in Panther Mafia, just look in we, the comments, see who's commenting, see who's active. Start interacting with them, their posts, follow them. That's pretty much, that's what Manny said before. A lot of things in life are based off of perception. When you guys are all getting together as part of a car group, and one guy comes up and says, all right, so we're thinking about asking everyone to pay about $65 as an annual fee, and we're going to use all those funds, and we're going to put it towards (laughs) barbecues. So we've been talking about, you know, all the great things about Panthers. Um... But what is something that, Manny, you feel the Panther community is missing? We ha- I mean, we have a ton of variety, but there's still a lot more that can be done. So what do you think is the biggest thing that's missing in the Panther community? I think we got, you know, since, since, since uh, the beginning of Panther Mafia, it's truly given the birth to a lot of other guys in Panthers to start doing what? Donuts. <laughs> I'm not Gosh, saying people weren't man. doing donuts beforehand, but I'll tell you one thing: it was never a sport. Bars were never something that were brought up and enforced. And all of a sudden, your videos are spinning out. Ain't that cool no more? Because you can't keep a solid circle. Try again. You know what I'm saying? Panther Mafia went ahead and 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 really really put that out on the map. But what we don't what we're, what we're missing. We're missing an entire category of Crown Vicks, five-speed swap with hydros drifting onto on-ramps, monging up and down state freeways. I mean, we need to see. Oh, we need to see what's out there competing with the Hellcat. Because let me tell you something: these new cars come souped up with all this power, and a lot of people argue that the cars do the work for you. You, you don't even got to be a real driver to do something crazy in these cars. You know what I mean? That the cars are just amazingly built for it. Anyways. All I heard was that somebody went ahead and and, 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 and and built this model to do what the submodels can't do, okay? So, that being said, these cars are able to handle much more because they were built differently. So, if you use the same exact logic here and you build your Crown Vic differently, you're going to be able to do different things. To want things that you haven't had before, you must do things that you haven't done before. You know what I'm saying? That's a great point. And uh, that's actually the difference between Lechero and Mad Vic right now. Uh, Lechero was built off of everybody's uh, recommendations. You know, oh yeah, do this because it's not it's not too much. You know, oh yeah, do that. It's uh, it's a little bit easier on the on everything. You know, and so I I I, I did what everyone you know said to do, and the car was great. It was like the best Crown Vic ever. Turns out, three years later, I ended up beating it. I built an even bigger and better Crown Vic. We went the 410s and the 3500 stall. <laughs> it's pretty crazy to me, honestly. It's really you cool know, to see it what you did out. before and what you have now. Yep, definitely a little bit more rugged. And uh, like I said, we're, 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 we're in the steps of things. You know, so far I'm beating out the audio as well. I'm, uh, I had 410s in my trunk of the Crown Vic last time, and now I have two whopping 18s. You know, uh, I spent $1,500 in uh, exhausts just trying to find the right sound. And you know what, you know what the funniest thing was? The best sounding exhaust was a $65 set of cutouts from summitracing.com and I had them installed and I would take the they were right after uh, the cats I had four cats and then I had straight exhaust cut out right on right after underneath them by the driver's seat I would take out the flange and the thing sounded like a Hemi I'm gonna have to remember that it was that. so loud it <laughs> was mean, so loud know, it was so cheap 
I'm not. I'm, my car is definitely not a road trip, you know, uh, comfortable driving car. It's got no mufflers. I just cut them off, and uh, nothing after that. It sounds like a Vic with no mufflers, but I mean, it's fun. And that's really what it's all about. It's about fun. It's about what you like for right sure. then and there. You might grow out of that in six months. You might want to go for a different tone. You might entertain a different muffler. Maybe you're oh, like more of a three-inch pipe. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't want to go out the back. That's too traditional for you. It's orthodox. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you need something a little bit more, uh, you know, a little, little out there. Like maybe put the exhaust tips right underneath the driver's seat. Have them poke out the side. There's all, With these cars, there's so many options to go. Whatever you want to do, you should be able to do. And if you don't know how to do it, there's always a way to figure it out. You know, my, my basic law is that it's got to look professional. You know, for example, my very first bumper wasn't exactly professional. A lot of folks were, were, were in awe of the, of the front end appearance from the hood to the bumper. But the critics were looking at it like, so, so did you? Did you, did you have Stevie Wonder to make the bumper or, you know, like what's going on there? You know what I mean? And that's, uh, I took that constructive criticism. You know, I didn't get my bag about it. I wasn't, oh, yeah, yeah, screw you, F you. You know, I wasn't, it wasn't nothing like that, you know. I was just like, these, these guys are right. I mean, when you're in the big leagues, this type of stuff matters, you know. And the hood, this car is a trophy. This this thing is amazing. But out there to the folks that got real money, they're looking at that and they're, they're pointing out all the imperfections. And that just means you got to do better. Oh, so I sure. did better with the with the gray car. When I came back with the gray, that was a lot more appealing. It was a little bit different. Like I said, I kind of mixed both styles, like the Cobra bumper that Mad Vic Lechetto was known for, and then we kept the soft top hood that you know it, that the car came with. <clears throat> kind of gave it a much different look. I would like to uh, to add on to Sam's question on uh, what cars we would like to see more. Uh, VIP builds. I absolutely love VIP builds. Uh, uh, Steel Hoover, um, Flick My Vic. I love stuff like that. I think Not a Cop. Uh, I'm Not a Cop in Arizona. He's starting to go for that. I absolutely love that. Are Just you talking to, about you know, stance? Uh, yeah, a little bit. You know. I'm not I'm not into crazy stance builds. I don't really like them, but you know, just a minimal amount. You know, Steel Hoover had it. Uh, not a cop has it. Just a minimal bit. You know, flush, super clean fitment. I really love to see those JDM style uh, VIP builds. Everyone I've talked about Panthers with that's not really into them. I show them a VIP Panther, and they're like, "Oh wow, that's like that's insane. That looks presidential," and it does. They have a presence. Would you could, uh, when 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 you say VIP like are you uh are you referring to like a, a vehicle like uh, Sam Michaela's? Uh, you know the uh, it's hold on let me look up uh, VIP style build. It's a it's a type of build that came out of Japan. It's kind of it's a mix of luxury but also um, a little bit of stance and stuff like that. Uh, you see it a lot with like BMW 7 Series and older Mercedes and stuff. It's pretty cool, you know. They got the chandeliers in the interior and all kinds of stuff. Like, I love that kind of stuff. It's really cool. You, you know what I want to see more of? I want to see more Panthers on airbags. Oh, absolutely! I want to mm. see Panthers slammed to the ground. Like five fifty eighty eight out of Panther Mafia, New York. Yo, one of my OG favorite builds right there. When he has his uh, uh a video. And I think they used, like, a West Coast, like, Dr. Dre song. And, oh, my God. It's the most, like, iconic. It's one of my favorite Panther videos out there, period. You know, he's sitting there. He's got this really, really clean, uh, you know, Mercury sitting on 24s. I mean, he hits the switches. That thing goes up and it goes down. And then the music, everything, it was just, it was epic. The delivery was awesome. That's the type of content we need. To be honest with you, this is what the, that's what the community really needs, Sam. They need more content, more activity, I more reels. Because uh, how else uh, did these cars get to where they're at now? You know, um... I really, really pride myself on Mad Merc and 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 and, and Panther Mafia, uh, the the reels that get posted on those two accounts. We you you touched on this a little bit. You talked about um, who was it out of the East Coast five fifty uh, five fifty eighty eight green. green. Yeah. Um, 
who are some of your favorite Panther builds on Instagram? Maybe some of the, the builds that aren't getting the, the same exposure as some other builds that are out there right now. Oh, man. I've been waiting for you to ask me this question. <laughs> and, of course, I knew I wasn't going to have all the names ready. In New York, there is Mr. Nitty. Oh, there Frank is Nitty. Frank Nitty. You got Tom Fuller Real, Tom Mendez, 550. And you got saw pit motors. Those cars right there, there's three low lows and there's one super duper donk high. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they're super duper cool and clean. They they represent like both sides of the spectrum, and it's all like one type of enthusiast in these kind of cars. You know, Panther Mafia. You gotta love it. Um, definitely want to give those guys a follow. They stand out to me a lot out there in NYC. Um, you also got A and F Vicky. He's got the uh, uh, a primer uh, gray crown Vic uh, on airbags as well. He's really clean. I like oh, his whip build. It's another one. I love whippets. Whip it. Whip it is one. Whip it's a really good example of like someone that really takes pride in having a really clean car. It's lowered on coilovers. The paint's really nice on it. Absolutely. You know the the guy is the guy's an OG in the game too. So big shout out to Whip it. He's been in the game like just as long as I have. So. Big, big amount of respects to him, too. Going further down uh, into the DMV, you got uh, Scary 03, of course. Heavy hitter. Absolutely. Uh, Jay Fortner. You can't bring up one without the other. I mean, these no. Marauder boys are just straight out of the magazine, I tell you. I'll tell you another, like, uh, uh, a really, really cool build that doesn't get a lot of, like, Attention is definitely, I'm not a cop. <laughs> uh, oh, for sure, 100%. Former Yaki and X Drew. X Drew with the pink fender coming out of Las Vegas. Oh, that's, that's one of the, right that's there. one of the, like, that's an example I'm talking about. I'm not quite the, like, I'm not talking the broken heart uh, sticker builds, but the, uh, like, you know, pink fenders and stuff and the, uh, the uh, I don't know what bar. to call it. Yeah, the bash bar, like the painted bash bar. It looks awesome, and I'd love to see more of that stuff. And I, yeah. I honestly wouldn't mind doing that with a Panther myself. Also, Rambo. I know you guys haven't had the pleasure that I have because of where we live at. But I drove six hours to see that tomato. And let me tell you, that's probably my one of my favorite red Panthers out there. Like, it is... Very well done. The paint is super immaculate. It's got these really, really cool sparkles in there. Um, that's uh, that's that's uh, an account I feel that is extremely underrated. Um, he's a really, really cool guy. Definitely worth the follow. Rambo plus three on Instagram. Also has a, a second backup account called YBF underscore tomato. Um, yeah. There are all sorts of different people in these cars, and quite frankly, if it wasn't for them having these cars, you guys probably would never be friends. Oh, absolutely. Very I've fun. made so many, like, close friendships with people, and it's weird. I didn't ever expect, I mean, I know Sam doesn't view himself as, like, you know, an inter like a, a personality on the internet, I guess. I don't remember what, uh, oh, an influencer, that's the word I'm looking for, but, uh, I never expected to be in a group chat with you and Sam and stuff like that and get close with you and Sam, and it's really cool to do stuff like that. It's definitely really cool because uh, Sam and I probably saw each other start out. You know, he was, he was, he was here before I was, about a year, year or so before. Um, but we watched each other grow over the years, and, we, and, and you know, um, I think we we uh, we kind of had a partnership really <laughs> over yeah. the years. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, I made sure to make an appearance on every post and support you and repost you, and you know, and I continued, you know, to to make as much noise as I could in my section, so I just I, I just couldn't be ignored. <laughs> <laughs> I actually right. rem I remember I remember I want to say like six months into it. Uh, I got mad. I sent I sent Vic Simmons to so many photos, and he wouldn't post a single one of them. No, I was just like, damn! Like, my car just sucks! <laughs> you know what? Don't even worry about it. Don't post them no more. I don't need your fucking your oh, promotion. Man. He goes, oh, That's man, my bad. You know, I just I didn't get to check it. You know, I, I still like to post your car up. You know, I calmed down a couple of days later, realized I, uh, you know, overreacted. Man, you know, and, I forgot about that. 
that's crazy. Son. That is so that's, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Um, Man, he woke but up you know, and chose straight heat. <laughs> I may as well go up and chose violence. <laughs> oh, but, you know, uh, we moved on. We got past that. And um, we kind of eventually just really recognized the, you know, I was I was bringing up Panther Mafia. We were the new school. We were coming up. I mean, I'm I'm like DJ Khaled on every single story. Panther Mafia, Panther <laughs> Mafia, we're the best. Come fuck with us, Fix a Vista. Come check us out. Blah 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 blah. You know. And hey, I was, I was saying, hype you were saying man back we then. wanted a Panther Mafia. You know, you just you, you just go, go Panther Mafia on the podcast, <laughs> and you hit it. So <laughs> we've met the quota for today. <laughs> Panther Mafia. There yes, sir. Yeah, but you know, uh, we we really kind of grew and 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 helped the community grow because I was able to use Panther Mafia's page, Mad Merck's page, and Mag Vic page to help kind of use it as a trifecta to push people towards Panther promoters. You know, and and, and Vic Savinsa wasn't the only one. You know, we, we've had this talk about you know people that start out together and people fall out over time. Yeah. There was a few other Panther promoting pages that we were also you know trying to shout out and like get some some flow going some mutual support you know kind of like how these radio stations all talk to each other on the low <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> like we're all talking about who to promote and who to push out and yo but have you seen this guy oh shit where'd you, where'd you find that picture at <laughs> you know what i mean we're putting out that content and we have quite a big following I think it's really interesting how many people are not part of the panther platform but yet you follow and you're interested. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It says a lot. It says a lot. I have to give props to you and Panther Mafia because I, I don't think my page would be where it is without, you know, the your cars in the past. I mean, some of the coolest cars have come out of Panther Mafia and the help that we were getting each other. You were giving me content. I was shouting people out and... Uh, and then, yeah, then it just became an effect. Oh, dude, I just got posted on Vix of Instant. I'm just like, that's right. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Told you shit's coming together. And then a couple days, another guy, but yo, I just got posted on the page. And I think that's the beauty. That's something that I look forward to. Um, I usually never tell people when I'm going to post them. I just post them <laughs> and I tag them. And, you know, it's kind of oh, like a surprise. Nice to see. And people get, they get really surprised. You know, they get happy about that, you know, and, um, that's one of those things you just you just wait for your time, you know. And it, when it happens, it happens. And 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 there's a certain amount of joy that gets emitted through through being able to to cause that joy for other people. And it's just it's just been nothing but W's across the board, really. It's exciting to see where we're gonna go as a community. Like, we're on a podcast. Think about it. <laughs> Which is still crazy. Trying to um process this like oh shoot i'm on a podcast with manny and sam like what ain't no way that's crazy you know you know what else another thing that i've always thought that we should like uh entertain or like talk about too is uh i've always wanted to to, to go on on podcasts and kind of talk about let's just see who's doing good on instagram right now who's people that should be getting checked out you know what i mean yeah because that 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 type of information is ever so much changing Today's big dog is not tomorrow's big dog. <laughs> Equal opportunities here. You just got to put in the work for it. <laughs> so I thought we might want to wrap it up. Is there anything you want to say to the listeners before uh, we end the podcast here? Anything you want to tell them? Panther Mafia! <laughs> <laughs> yes, there it sir. is. Give me a follow. Mad underscore Vic on Instagram. Mad underscore Merc on Instagram. Panther underscore Mafia underscore underscore... Just check it us, check it out, check out what we're doing. West coast to east coast. We're also in the Middle East, North Africa, Panther Mafia, nationwide, worldwide, state to state, coast to coast. We the best. We're doing it right. Follow Vic of Insta. Follow Clap Vic. Check out the Panther Podcast. It's gonna be available on iTunes and all sorts of other platforms I can't remember right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on. I appreciated the the invite. I hope to come back on here and spit some more shit with you guys.
Thank you so much for listening to episode one of the PantherCast. We truly hope you enjoyed it. Join us for our next episode, where James and I will speak to Michigan's very own Charlie Chubbs P71. Don't forget to check out Vic Savinsta on Instagram and follow James at clapped.vic and myself at TheBoringVic. Until next time.